Right, so if you are out in Texas or traveling to Texas, just know that they are under the water. Boy, you notice we recently had this in Texas County, um, New Jersey, a while back. But you guys don't don't touch that water. So it says Houston closes schools Monday as city is under boy you water notice. So that's two day no school for all public Houston. You know schools so all public schools in houston will be closed monday after the city issued a boil you water notice sunday evening due to a loss of water pressure at a purification plant the houston independent school district said on twitter it is monitoring the situation and will provide additional updates monday earlier today the water pressure dropped below the texas commission on environmental qualities required minimum of 20 pc PSIs during a power outage at the East Water Purification Plant. Water for drinking, cooking, washing hands and faces, and brushing teeth should be bore you for at least two minutes. I thought it was five. So for at least two minutes before using to destroy all potentially harmful bacteria and other microbes, the city said. It's two minutes. <laughs> Um, maybe I've just been overdoing it and boiling water for five minutes. Um, you can boil your water to sterilize a lot of things as well. So Houston's drinking and water waste utility serves about 2.2 million customers per day. Wow. Water pressure has been restored, but the boil your water notice will likely remain in place until Tuesday morning. Even if that, um, that boil your water notice... I guess it would drop Tuesday. Definitely, I would still say still boil your water if you are using your, you know, your sink water to cook and, you know, to brush your teeth and all of this stuff. Definitely still boil you that water after Tuesday. We believe the water is safe, but based on regular, uh, we believe the water is safe, but based on regulatory requirements, when pressure drops below 20 PSIs, we are obligated to issue a boil you water notice. A water sample plan has been sent to the Texas Commission on Environmental Quality, according to Aaron Jones, Houston Public Works Public Information Officer. That water sample plan could be approved by TCEQ Sunday night or Monday morning, she said. Once the water sample plan is approved, the water samples have, have to be collected by the City of Houston Public Works who will then submit the water samples to TCEQ and the samples have to sit in the TCEQ lab for 18 hours to see if anything grows on them. If nothing grows, then your water is back to normal. If something does grow on those water samples, then the rescinding of the order would continually take longer. We are working closely with the city of Houston, they're saying, to get this issue corrected. So let's see if you are in Texas and you did not know, at least now you know. If you know somebody in Texas, make sure they know not to be using that water. What are they doing with the water? They honestly, and in New Jersey, in some parts of New Jersey, I don't know if this happened in your area as well. They have been working on these pipes for going on three years now. They've been under them grounds more than ever that I've seen in my lifetime so far. They've been in them grounds working on these pipes for almost three years now. And I'm curious to know what the heck is going on and what are they doing? Are they putting something down there? Are they putting something in these pipes in the water? What are they doing? I honestly don't know. But if you are one of those, um, what do you call them? Like the public works workers. Um, it's like the PSNG people that actually go underground and the people that work for the city. If you are one of those workers, let us know what's going on down there. Why is it... So much work being done underground in like the same areas. It's three years, come on, three years of constant work. 
they ain't going to tell us. I mean, if I walk up to one of them and ask them what's going on, they're going to look at me like I'm crazy. But I am curious to know, are you guys seeing that as well? Is there more road work? I'm going to say that. Is there more road work than usual? Because I know what it is here. I don't know, y'all. I just think something is up with that. Like, stuff just be put in underground. And when crap hit the fan, it's a way to go ahead and kind of control everything. Um, Possibly make it easier to put us on a lockdown. Um, I don't know. It's a whole bunch of stuff going on. Got the whole 5G, more than, more than ever 5G little towers being put up everywhere as well. It's a lot going on. You know, we're going to leave this right here where it's at. Because that's a whole nother topic. And I tend to go ahead and I will drift off and start talking about something else. So, Houston, Texas. You're under the water. Boy, you are. Boy, you water notice. So, don't touch that water. Boy, you that water. I do five. They say up to two. Some people say you only need to boil you the water for one minute. Totally up to you. Long as you boil you your water, this is a great time to have water on hand. Stock up on your water now. A way to purify your water, like we always say. Um, these situations here can happen anywhere, anywhere. So. It happened here in Excess County, New Jersey. I had water on hand. I didn't have to worry about it. And I was able to refilter all of my jugs. And we still have more water on hand. So keep you extra water around. You don't have to go out and buy the cases of water if you don't want to. You can go ahead and fill up, you know, your jars of water. Just save all your jars. Fill them up. Store them away. Fill them up with filtered water. You might have to drink that water. Fill it up with filtered water. Um, and that's pretty much it. Just find a way that works for you and your family to purify water. I would highly suggest, you know, doing some research on that. So you can choose whichever fits best for you and your family. So you guys, thank you. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is Shauna checking out from Moments with us. Make sure you all stay prep, stay blessed, and stay safe. And most of all, remain beautiful queens and kings.